What's up, guys? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with Gwenpool mission number four, Defying Conventions Free Play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, it's finally time to get that Stan Lee Detector Pink Brick, that character token for Electro, and we're also going to freely, freely, freely. Now, because we already completed this in story and got that True Believer, we have two of the three gold bricks, but we're going to come back and get them all. That's right. Uh, you also should note that in order to unlock this mission, you have to complete both the Howard the Duck mission, which happens in Manhattan, as well as the Forbush Man mission, which unlocks after you complete the Howard the Duck mission. So uh, both of those can be found in our Manhattan Free Roam video. Looks like mission number two and mission number eight should certainly get you through those. And yeah, take a quick peek on the map as to where they is and let's get back to the biz we're gonna go ahead and start things off as per usual it is free play so we've sped things up a little bit and we've removed all the cutscenes. if you are in a gigantic hurry we do have quick links down below in the video description so feel free to use those meanwhile we're gonna go ahead and take a quick peek at our map and scroll over to levels and toggle all the way down to the fourth pink level select here because we've already beat it in story we can go ahead and jump right into that free play. Now, it doesn't matter which character you choose, as you will have the ability to open any character you have already unlocked and purchased. And in our case, we have quite a few characters in both of those situations. So, uh, yeah, as uh, we go ahead and get to getting here, we see that we are at a con of some sort. It looks like there's some autographings going on there. There's a panel with some people watching and... There's uh, all sorts of booths, and look at that. There's a big, uh, ooh, look at that, a Hulk Buster on the left-hand side. So if you've never been to a con before, this is pretty similar to what it's like. I've certainly been to a couple packs, being the main one that I've frequented, but uh, there are some others under my belt as well, and, yeah, they're pretty fun. If you get a chance, I highly recommend going to and checking these out. Now, this does not seem as busy as the ones that I have been to. Look, I tried to fly over and skip all of this stuff, but no, it makes you do the actual story elements in order to advance and go into the next room. So if you watched our story, or maybe you've already played it yourself, you probably remember that you have to take out these silver, I guess there's some sort of like, uh, they look like vending machines, but they look like they got like water bottles or something in them. Really suspect. But uh, we'll go ahead and bust them open with our favorite silver brick breaker, Mr. Iron Man. And we're going to go ahead and use his rockets to deploy them all over this area and take out anything and everything else that needs to be done. That's right, dunned. We're going to go ahead and remove everything and build it up into a large loudspeaker with a techno panel on the bottom of it. We can go ahead and approach it and get our oots oots on and go ahead and make the announcement that Tony Stark is downstairs. Now, Reese was actually sitting right next to me when I played this. He, he had a good question. He said, I wonder if everyone's going to run right up to you as you are Iron Man and everyone knows that Iron Man is Tony Stark. So I wondered that too, but I figured it would just, uh, they'd run right by us. And they did. But hey, before moving on, you might want to sneak into that same little doorway there and get the bluesy and the purple twosie that's in there. I'm not going to worry about it. I got so many studs. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Even when we get to that free, I guess it's not free play. It's more of a live stream. That's right. The live stream where we're going to go ahead and unlock all of those character tokens that we've unlocked but haven't purchased yet. Uh, that that We're still going to have a couple of billion left over, no doubt, when we get through that. So... Uh, yeah, and I was wondering, too, if we were going to go ahead and switch on over to the Howard the Duck in the special suit there. But no, this is the first level we've played that actually didn't default us to having some of the story-based characters out, too. But hey, none of that. Let's go ahead and get that pink brick. Simply use somebody with telekinesis like Doctor Strange to manipulate that slider puzzle and get that pink brick. And now it's officially ours. So we, just, we still have to go purchase it. But we haven't really needed much of the pink bricks beyond the stud multipliers because they're not really that helpful at this point, especially with how much we've gotten done. Depending on how much you've followed along, you may have just actually completed story or maybe you're not even done yet. But uh, you may still have a long journey. We are in the home stretch, though. If you're following along, we have, uh, what, two more free, uh, excuse me, two more Gwenpool missions. And then we've got the free roam cleanup video, too. But... All right, hey, check this out. I did not need a double grappler like I thought I did. I thought I needed, as you saw, I had uh, Dr. Strange out who can get his grapple on too, but I switched on over to the Spidey and thinking I needed a double grapple, but it didn't work out that way. So go ahead and pull both of them plugs and get inside there, throw the shield up into the switch and collect your character token for Electro. 
Next up, we are going to fly up top and switch to the old Black Bolt as he has the sonar ability, or as we like to say, the old Black Belcher can get his belch on and destroy this glass that is actually preventing Mr. Lee from escape. So we'll go ahead and pick the Black Bolt and charge it up and let loose. There we go. Woohoo. There you go, Mr. Lee. Hopefully you can forgive us for the... Uh, we, we, we did have uh, garlic and onions for lunch today. That's right. Black Bolt eats a steady diet of garlic and onions, if you didn't know. No, I'm just kidding. I, I have no idea what the Black Bolt eats. But we're going to fly over and use the techno panel on the far right side, which actually shorts out all the machines down below. And we still need to push this big old golden glove. That's right. It's a, a Thanos' glove, correct? I'm sure some of you will probably uh, be upset because I might have made that mistake on that. But hopefully I got it right. If not, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, we got to get down here. We got to build up some things. But first, we got to pull the old lever on the right hand side. And as it turns out, there are plenty of story elements that you cannot skip. And I tried to. I, look, I tried to get up. No, nope, not going to happen. But you got to come up here. You got to build that up too and slide that pole or that big poster, not the pole. Slide the poster over to the far left side. And there goes the glove. Now we got to melt it down with some heat ray. Now keep in mind, we have gotten all the collectibles in this video too. So if you are in a hurry, you're officially done. You're free to go. We are going to finish this out though. So build up those bricks that were bouncing around and spin to win and push that big old poster into place. And then of course you can go ahead and shoot it down and reveal that there is a spot that you can go ahead and throw a staff in. But since we got flying characters, we don't really need that. So that is one of the elements that we can skip. And, you know, I was pretty sure Claw's heat ray here worked on gold, but apparently it doesn't. So uh, at least it was a really funny angle multiple times, and it didn't let me. So I finally switched to old Tony, or I guess Iron Man, and uh, he made it break loose for us. And we'll go ahead and build it up into that big cabinet here for the Howard the Duck game, which we can step up to and play. All you need to do is catch 10 eggs, and it'll take us away into the final cutscene, which actually, guess what? We've removed, so it's going to take us to the final totals, where we'll go over everything and talk about what's next. Which, in fact, we got a little time right now. Why don't we go ahead and jump into that? So, uh, as we already mentioned, we only have two more uh, Gwenpool missions left. It looks like number seven and number ten. Once we get done with seven, ten will unlock and we should have access to all of them. We're going to sneak in and do some races and clean up the free roam in there too. So we are really in the home stretch. There's probably a trophy achievement video we'll sneak in there after that. And of course the live stream where we're going to unlock all them characters. Well, I should say purchase all them unlocked characters. But woo to the who! We finished up the level and we are officially done with this one. So like I said, we are literally in the home stretch. So as previously mentioned, we got two gold bricks in the story, one for completing the story level and one for getting that true believer. This time around, we did get that pink brick for the Stan Lee detector. And of course, we did freely. So that was nice. You're welcome, buddy. And last but not least, we did get that character token for Electro. So add him to our list. Looks like he will need to be purchased, unfortunately. But hey, thanks for watching. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Gwenpool Mission Number 4, Defying Conventions Free Play, where we got all them collectibles. I guess all three of them doesn't really constitute all them. I could have, yeah, anyways. Uh, check us out on social media, or if you have not already, please check out a Thumbie Must See video as it helps us out. And as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.